Hello and a very warm welcome. I'm Aditi Lama and this is the Thursday night edition of South Asia News, Vision of Asia. Wrapping up the week, we continue to see many activities in the community, much on social, volunteer and cultural spheres. Do stay tuned on to our network for all updates and prominent highlights representing the voice of South Asian Americans. And on representation, a quick reminder now for all our viewers, on Saturday, March 7th, tune in at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, only on ITV Gold, to watch Change Making Sikh Americans, who have brought recognition and accommodation of religious articles of faith, especially Sikh turban and beard in the U.S. military, with now U.S. Air Force updating its dress code policy, joining the U.S. Army in its effort to promote diversity and respect for all in the U.S. military. Watch Airman First Class Jaspreet Singh and Lieutenant Colonel Kamal Kalsi speak with us at the joint base McGuire Dix Lakehurst. We are very proud to be the first South Asian network to present to you all Sikh Americans at the joint base this coming Saturday 10.30 a.m. Eastern. Also on national news we continue to see much discussion on coronavirus, which is expanding its visibility now with positive cases in the U.S. today, the Senate passed $8.3 billion bill to combat the outbreak with over $3 billion devoted to research and development of vaccines, test kits and treatments. There are currently no approved vaccines or treatments for the virus, which began in China and has now infected more than 95,000 people in 80 countries and territories. We again urge all our viewers to take all precautionary measures and keep up with safe and hygienic environments and seek assistance from medical professionals if symptoms appear. Hoping here for everyone's well-being, it's now time to begin tonight's episode. Let's take a look at the headlines. Sun Nirankari Mission, Center of Oneness, Service and Spirituality, Long Island, New York. Seva and Six of New York organized second annual New Jersey Devil Sick Heritage 2020 in New Jersey. PCC, Saba and Aro organized panel, Labor Law Basics in New Jersey. This and much more on the other side of a break. Stay with us on Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You are watching Vision of Asia, South Asian news segment, and I am Aditi Lamba. This is the Thursday night episode. Beginning the show, let's take a look at more highlights from ITV Gold's exclusive Get to Know segment featuring Center of Oneness, the Sun Nirankari mission located in Long Island, New York. Recently opened, this new center of oneness hopes to take forward the vision and works of the grand non-for-profit and spiritual movement, an organization with thousands of chapters across the world. The Sun Nirankari mission here aims to unite members of all diverse backgrounds, languages, as well as religions under an institution which believes in serving humanity through various activities, volunteer services, as well as community congregations with a strong message of creating a platform for peace, love, and dedication. We have tonight more highlights featuring key figures, youth members who spoke heavily on their learnings from the mission as well as some insight into Sun Nirankari Mission's upcoming volunteer event, a Blood Drive 2020 Mount of Ekta Divas to be held at the Center of Oneness in Long Island on April 26th starting at 10 a.m. Do visit nirankari.org forward slash New York for more information. Here are the highlights. give this uh, you know blood so it's helping a lot of poor people patients yes. and that's what the mission is planning to do like a uh, council general of new york he was very uh, kind to accept our invitation yes because we wanted them to see that what mission is doing it and we want to help the indian diaspora in general yes. not only because uh, within them with those who are nankaris but indians in general and also the local community and like I said before 
because we do not discriminate between whether you are which color which country which exactly. national background but again uh, like i said the need uh, wherever there is need yes. rankari mission will be there this talks about your inner self it does not talk about your physical aspect and once you know who you are as an inner self you will always do the right thing and you will always do what is right for your neighbor you will also always do right for what is right for your community and with our expectation for our current satguru is to give us that knowledge to give us that ability to give us that understanding that no matter what age you can bring that in to who you are so this is what i look forward to this is what i aspire from all the members and this is what i would like to give back to <laughs> into what's happening here in the New York side of how perhaps the community could participate. Yeah, so we have had a lot of different um uh service projects. So one of the couple that really stick out to me, we actually went to the Ronald McDonald house where we wow. cooked for families of seriously ill children. Um and it really, you know, we once we met the individuals and their families, it really helped us feel like, you know, we were doing something to help someone. We didn't know these people, but for those 5 minutes or those 10 minutes they were eating the those home cooked meals mm. they were so thankful mm. um and then there was another one just recently we were going to a elder home where we took all the young children from 2 years and up and they were able to spread cheers for the holidays and we actually got a lot of positive feedback from the residents that you know this really helped them feel better and please don't wait another year to come come faster and and it, it just it was such a humbling experience that one small act of kindness can make such a big difference in an individual's life and we learned that all from here uh you know we say baba hardev singh ji is love personified and that's what we learned from this mission you know one last question to you a lot of youth is watching you here on itv girls and across the nation and the, the importance of uh, you know our um, generation of south asian americans that are living here to really uh, you know contribute to the community and also have dialogues on diversity and upliftment and really finding a, a core of humanity amongst all how important do you think those teachings are right now in 2020 we are looking at a world which may not be the most pleasant for a lot of us yeah i that's very important right now you know uh, coming back to baba ji because he, you know he is very important yeah. he's the pillar of our mission yeah. and as he was saying that we should put down all those walls so all those things such as you know um different languages different cultures that are supposedly you know dividing us we can use those to unite us we can try to learn about another's culture we can try to accept those those differences and make them something beautiful are you and ITV Gold area we love coming here we love you know interacting with Indian non-profits uh you know your your message out to the rest of the south asian neighborhood and and what what are your hopes for the center in that regards because it is opening up to a huge amount of south asian population here definitely, definitely. i mean we welcome all right yes. it's like when we say we we mean we all are extended family 
I mean, of course, South Asian because I I am from Asia, right? So that's first one. You start, you know, uh, they say, right? Love thy neighbor. Yes. Charity begins at home. Yes, that was my home. Now I'm in US, right? But again, you know, when I was from India, so people used to say, oh, where are you from? I'm from North India. So if I meet somebody in North India, I'll say, oh, wow, I met North Indian, right? Yes. And when I came outside India, I went to maybe Singapore, right? Yes. If I see some Indian, oh, that's Indian, right? And then it started growing up. When I go to moon, suppose, right? If I see some human being from Earth, I'll say, oh, he's my mate from Earth, right? Yeah. So what Mataji is doing today, she's saying break all these walls, break all these boundaries. We are one big human family, right? So we are one human family. All these my friends, neighbors, they are my brothers, right? Yes. We all are brothers from different mothers, basically. But again, God is one. We have same father and that's why universal brotherhood, universal sisterhood, right? So you are so, up to everybody. Exactly. So Everyone is more area. than welcome here. And every Sunday we have congregations 11 to 1 mm. and we serve very delicious Indian community meal. Yes. And that's free, right? Mm. And uh, we welcome them all. 26th April, 25th April, we have a blood donation drive. Yes. And Mataji says that blood should flow in veins, not in drains. We see so many, so much of violence today, right? Yes. And so much of blood is flowing in drains. But Mataji is telling us today that blood should not flow in drains, right? Yes. It should flow in human veins. Yes. And that's why we are organizing a blood drive. We are partnering with the, the local blood community. Yes. They are coming here. They will set up the booth. And we welcome everybody in whatever way you can donate, right? Yes. You can donate blood. You can come. We have food here, you can serve that food, you can bring your own food if you want to. Serve by any means, we see street cleaning today. Yes, this is our neighborhood, we want it to be clean. And uh, they say, you know, cleanliness is not next to godliness. And what better gift can we give to the humanity, you know, more than blood. It's March is Women's History Month. We are full and outgoing across our communities here. All of these Indian diaspora, just a message out to your fellow women. Okay. Well, I will say one thing, do not underestimate the power of women. Women, like I said before, women is Shakti in our Hinduism and mother to a child. Um, only a mother can give good values, she can nurture and she can make good citizens. Please support your women, respect them, help them, let them grow to their fullest. And this is my message and I wish you all the best that I hope you can join us in this campaign and God bless you all. Yeah, this is not only satsang women, we can do a lot of things for the community as in like a yoga classes, Hindi classes, dance classes and the music classes. Yes. So can everybody can take a benefit, okay? Yes. Yes. And uh, the people can serve also yes. and is everything will be free services for the whole community. Oh, wow, that we is do amazing. a lot of things outside of the center itself. So just a few months ago we had visited an elderly center where we sang for the elderly during the holiday season, had a great time with them. Um, just last year we were in the city, we organized a cancer awareness walk where we had people from outside of the mission, in the mission, we all just had a great time there. And we like to do many things, many um, awareness events, many events for the community and cleanliness drives as we're having today as well. You know, um, it's really important for, you know, the youth of our community, just the South Asian diaspora, to really sort of assimilate into certain types of activities to learn about their culture. Uh, your take on, you know, learning culture through this mission and, and do you think it's made you more aware as a South Asian being raised here in the U.S.? Um, I think it has. I think I've personally been able to, as a youth member, been able to um, associate with people who are older than me, elders who have been able to help me um, bring my culture and my values, the South Asian values, into my daily life as well. At the Vaughan Banquet in New Jersey, a panel discussion interactive event was presented by the Punjabi Chamber of Commerce, along with the South Asian Bar Association of New Jersey, the Asian American Retailers Association, and the Asian Indian Chamber of Commerce. Recognized as some of New Jersey's most prominent business, entrepreneur, as well as professional organizations, all four associations collaborated in a great manner to present a platform for discussion on labor law basics, a topic which impacts all associations equally and the importance of knowing what's right. Many spoke on the information gained at Practical Advice featuring minimum wages, sick leaves, accured benefits and many others. Let's take a look at what all shared with ITV Gold and more glimpses from the panel discussion.
co-sponsor uh, with the Punjabi Chamber of Commerce, um, also the AICC, um, and uh, with the AAIA. Um, this is the first time uh, our four organizations have um, co-sponsored an event, and uh, as you know, it's about labor law, it's about the basics of labor law. Uh, we have a great presentation today by, by folks that are experienced in the area. Uh, I, they're going to be introduced shortly, but I, I did want to just give a shout out to the four organizations. Uh, from Punjabi Chamber of Commerce, um, the co-chairs Indy Sabra and Jasjeet Binder. Um, from AICC, the president, uh, Brittany Pongia Patel. And uh, last but not least, uh, the Asian American Retailers Association, uh, Bipin and Dilla Patel. Hi, this is Rahil Darbar. I'm the president of the South Asian Bar Association of New Jersey. Uh, we're here, here in Divan Banquet Hall in Piscataway. Uh, we had a labor law basics event that Saba and Jade co-hosted with the Punjabi Chamber of Commerce, the um, AICC, Asian Indian Chamber of Commerce, and the AAIA. Um, a lot of the issues covered were uh, overtime, wage payments, um, FLSA coverage for employees for small and mid-sized businesses. As you can see, it was very well attended. Um, and we were really happy to co-host this event and hope to do more with all these wonderful organizations. Uh, we want to thank ITV Gold for covering it and uh, providing it some publicity. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sandeep Chandi. I'm an attorney at Pasri Chan Patel, practicing corporate law. We're here at Piscataway, New Jersey in the Devon Banquet Hall. We are holding a seminar here today on labor law basics, trying to educate our community what the basics, rules, and regulations are regarding paying your employees, which you must do. So, tonight's event was presented by Punjabi Chamber of Commerce in association with the American Indian Chamber of Commerce and ARA and Saba. And thank you, ITV. And hopefully, we get more future coverage from you guys. Thank you. My name is uh, Jasjee Singh Bindra. I am from uh, Punjabi Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we are here today. We had a marvelous session on the labor laws, uh, telling our community how the state laws, federal laws affect them, their businesses. Uh, and we, as, as a community, we gained a lot today through this knowledge. And with me is uh, Vipul Malik from Kubair Wealth Advisors. Uh, how would you like to share today's session with us? I think, again, it is a wonderful session. We had a great uh, a bunch of panelists who informed us, educated us. And I think that is what is the need of the hour for the community so that we can all learn about how to grow, protect, preserve our personal as well as our business balance sheets, how to make sure that we are staying aware of all the current laws, and then maximizing the wealth opportunity and the wealth growth in the community. Kobear Wealth is dedicated to serving its clients in helping them both protect, preserve, and grow their personal as well as their business balance sheets going forward. Thank you. So, my name is Vinny Mahajan. I am with Aries Business Group. We represent a lot of small and medium-sized businesses. Uh, today's session was really an eye-opener uh, because uh, starting from Jan 1st, there has been change in regulation in terms of minimum wage and also uh, definition between independent contractor and uh, a W-2 employee. So, I think in our community, uh, we uh, must uh, take in stock all these change in laws, and we must uh, try to be compliant. And today's session, I must congratulate all the chambers and South Asian Bar Association to put it together and bring it to the community. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Savli from Hermitage Infotech. I'm here at the Ivan Banquet Hall to attend the uh, labor laws uh, session. It was a very interesting session uh, by Vic Jaitley and uh, Charlene. And uh, I'm enjoying the ambience and love the food. Thank you so much, uh, ITV. It's time for another show break. Stay with us on Vision of Asia. Voice of the Community will be right back. And welcome again. You are watching Vision of Asia South Asian News segment, and I am Aditi Lamba. We have now our concluding highlights from the very successful second annual New Jersey Devil's Sikh Heritage, which was held at the Prudential Center, presented by Sikh American Veterans Alliance, SEVA, and Sikhs of New York. 
Truly a day which celebrates Sikh culture, traditions and faith, the second annual Sikh heritage surely brought together the festive spirit of Punjab with hundreds of turbans tied, folk performances and several prominent Sikh American political and military figures in support to showcase the growth and reach of the Sikh American community and attempt to raise awareness as well as celebrate diversity and empowerment for all. We spoke to many on the importance of raising cultural and religious awareness and it surely was a great honor for all in the organizing team to present more on Sikhism and its roots in serving the community and we definitely saw that spirit visible through the celebrations. Let's take a look at our concluding highlights from the second annual New Jersey Devil Sikh Heritage respecting and commemorating the ever-growing population of Sikh Americans. Attorney General Grabir Graywell, we're here at the Devil Sikh Heritage Day. Uh, very happy Sikh Heritage Day to everyone watching at home and go Devils. And, and where perhaps all of us South Asian Americans should come together to just, you know, raise awareness or perhaps help out or to just showcase support. What is your take on this? So, you know, Sikhs were basically farmers back home. And when British came to India, they saw that these are like good uh, warriors. They took them all over the world and they make Sikh regiment. And Sikhs became part of World War One, World War Two, And they were all over the, uh, you know, uh, the globe, wherever. You know, they used to say sun never set in the British Empire. And Sikhs were all over from New Zealand, Australia, to England and uh, Canada and US. So, U.S. is opening up for Sikhs to become part of the U.S. Army, Navy, Marines, and they're opening up. And I really thank uh, Dr. Kamal Khalsi and these, uh, the SEVA group to uh, telling them and educating them that what the Sikhs are and if they can be part of the U.S. Army, Navy, and, and Marines wearing their, 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 their five Ks the, and still perform their duty and still have their intact their religion. So that's a great effort on their part and I think they're realizing it, they're opening the doors and hopefully you will see more Sikh boys and girls and serving for the U.S. country, yes. <laughs> company providing support that really wasn't a big issue uh, as a Sikh American myself I also serve on the board for SEVA the Sikh American Veterans Alliance uh, you take a look at the United States and how polarized we are as a uh, country there's no reason that our military has to be that polarized and uh, the conversation that I had earlier on with one of our service members is um, allowing us to go ahead and share in our military uh, our articles of faith for those people that want to practice. Uh, would that strengthen you or would it weaken you as an individual? Uh, a comment on behalf of SEVA on the new updates and all of the work that's been going on for almost 10 years now and now it's going to different branches of the military. Absolutely. So uh, some years back, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Gamal Khalsi, actually the founder of uh, SEVA, the Second American Veterans Alliance, uh, was successful not only just getting accommodation for himself, but going back out there and allowing the uh, military, uh, specifically the army, to go ahead and allow that commendation for others. Uh, most recently, we were able to go ahead and get um, a similar commendation um, for our airmen that want to go ahead and represent uh, with their sick articles of faith. Uh, and hopefully we can go ahead and broaden that as well. So folks uh, practicing other religions can also go ahead and serve in our uh, Air Force with their articles of faith. Your comments on how important that is for all of us to be humans and remain human. Yeah, everything okay, I like it. You like it? And it looks different, <laughs> you know? We have 
some amazing Sikh organizations, uh, nonprofits, and other you know entities that have come together and put up this amazing event yeah. here. Uh, how important do you think it is for these organizations to exist and to reach out to areas such as the New Jersey Devils yeah. and establish relationships with uh, you know a, a big companies such as you to to really incorporate a uh, an, an international dialogue, a national dialogue, or to just have the community interact? What's yeah. your comment on that? From our point of view, we want to expose our fans to the local community. We want to expose our employees. I mean, you see everything from myself to people cooking the food, wearing these right now. And so I think the importance is the same for both sides. It's about the ability to interact with people in a way that we haven't previously and we don't do on a consistent enough basis. Hopefully it, it uh, drives some dialogue. Hopefully people get a sense of the community in a way that they haven't before, that's that's the important thing for us, certainly. I would love for you to discuss about, you know, the importance of having SEVA come here to, uh, you know, New Jersey and really have people identify with the community and have the community just integrate and interact and have a great event as well. Right. So, you know, SEVA is uh, Sikh American Veterans Alliance. We just not fight for uh, Sikh's religious freedom, but for everybody. When we fight, we fight for everybody and we try to make... Um, uh, diversity a part of everybody's um, work ethics you know so we're here today to celebrate of course who the Sikh heritage who we are we're tying turbans I think we did about 800 turbans today oh, wow. um, of course and um, we're here just to inter just to talk about who we are and where we come from um, but this was more of a uh, more of an event to tell people we're part of the same fabric as they are, you know? And so it's important that they come out, meet us, ask us questions, and not be afraid of who we are just because we look different. So that was the objective when we started this. And uh, I'm happy to say this is our second year and the turnout is great. Uh, Gurbir uh, Garival, Attorney General Gurbir Garival did an awesome job. He was tying turbans. I could see how much fun he was having. Ravi came out and he was inter interacting with the kids and the kids were all excited in the tunnel. So, you know, um, Lots of good things and there's positive energy, which is what we need today. Your comments on uh, the, the impact and the works of SEVA and your own experience, uh, you know, in this movement, which your husband, as a part of this huge family that you're a part of, uh, started because he really wanted to serve. You know, when you tell somebody no, it's just, you take it personally. Why not? So when Kamal decided to join the army, the first thing was, you know, you have to give up what you believe in and that, and, and that they wouldn't accept him. So that no turned into why not? I know we have a job fair that we're starting and that we want all, all of our community to come out and integrate into these uh, services so that people understand where we are, who we are and where we're coming from um, while we're integrated with them and serving on the same positions as they are. And that is all for tonight's episode. Do remember to send us your suggestions and get your voices and organizations on our show. Email us on events at itvgold.com or follow us on Facebook at ITV Gold. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for free access to many of our popular shows. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is Vision of Asia and I am Aditi Lamba. Take care and be well.